Hello, uh, I'm going to make a video about um, Lemmy's picking technique, uh, his plectrum, his picking hand, which in his case was right as it is in mine, but you know, if you're left handed, don't imagine it makes much difference. Um, but before I start, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's like commented or thumbs up or subscribes to my motorhead stuff. Uh, I do a few things on my channel, but the motorhead one seems to, Lemmy's playing style is the most popular video I've done, and it's great to know that I'm connecting with other huge fans of the best band in the world always have been always will be motorhead and the immortal lemmy because gods don't die they merely ascend uh and it's yeah thank you for it's good to know that people are getting something from it and all of that but cheers um another thing people ask about my uh, equipment what gear i'm using just it's a real cheapo base i don't even know what what's it oh yeah playtech it's a brand in japan uh, they're they're really really cheap um, I used to have like a, a Rickenbacker and stuff when I was in England, but I sold it before I moved to Japan. So I just got this thing. I just play locally in little clubs and stuff, and I play guitar mainly. But if I play bass, I use this. Anyway, um, it does the job. And the amplifier. Oh, there we go. I've got it. Marshall. Just a little. My mate gave me this for free. He he runs an English teaching company. He moved to new premises, and he found this in the basement. So it's a Marshall guitar amp. I just stick it through and whack the gain up but it's quite noisy i think my lead i need a new lead anyway right picking style so um yes yeah, so I've, I've analyzed lemmy's playing style before and stuff and uh i've done a few videos after just focusing on particular things like power chords uh he used a lot and this time i'm going to do the picking hand like i said before um so let me let me himself said I remember once a quote from him. He said uh, he said I really I really talking about playing the bass. Said I really hit the thing. He said it's like going five rounds with Henry Cooper, which is the famous British boxer. Um, and they're of course motor, <laughs> you know, power. But I think he did himself a service because even when he's the the really when he's really whacking it, and like the heavier songs of Motorhead, which are obviously ultra heavy, there's still a lot of finesse in there and sort of playing around the beat. He locked in with the double bass drums, which of course were a predominant feature of Motorhead. Starting off with, you know, Overkill, Filthy Animal. And then after with Mickey D and stuff, I mean, he really locked in there, stuff like Burner and all of that. But uh, he played around the beat, he ducked in and out. It wasn't just a case of just like the double bass drums were doing. So let's look, first of all, I'll start off with the, it's hard to get across what I mean, but I'll start off the Overkill riff. If we slow it, well, play at normal speed first of all. But let's slow it down. All right, so on it's, a, it's on my rubbish camera. I should like split the screen here or something, but I'm not that clever with editing. All right, let's go. So he's sitting back on some beats and then he's pushing it on others just to get that emphasis across. So that's kind of just basic alternate up and down, that's all it is. And then that little skip, he does that a lot. And there's your sort of reset as it was. That's the thing, he sort of reset the beat a lot with that sort of, I'd sort of just be picking, but just quickly, just the other hand, that sort of, that normally not uh, a tone down. In Overkill's case, just a semitone, uh, E to the D sharp or E flat. Mm -hmm. Of course, did that, but so it sort of jumped around on the rhythm there. Alternate picking, and then that little. There, and. Um, I've mentioned this before in another video, but I want to do, uh, I think I did a bass cover of it, but Mean Machine from the Orgasmatron album, uh, which is just, and I always remember uh, another memory of mine was an English, I think this is even pre-internet age, was an English magazine and it had Lemmy pictured with three bass guitars, you know, he's grinning with a fag out of his mouth backstage or something. And the caption said, you know, that's one for each note in it, ha ha ha. As in, you know, Lemmy, Lemmy was technically 
limited, which I've said before was is crap. But I, I remember reading that thing. God, I, whoever wrote that, I'd love to say, okay, play the bass line to Mean Machine, which took me ages to get, and it shows how fast he played and how tight it was. That is it. So, I mean, straight when it starts off with the... When it's coming in, so just downward hits and stabs. But when it kicked off, he said he played hard and stuff, but he's actually... He's playing really sort of with, you know, I don't know how to say it. Not light, but fast strumming. You can't do that if you're just whacking the thing. So it's like... So let's, let's try and break it down here, what he's doing. So like that, I guess. And again, with that little, that the, I, the reset, it's just a good habit to get into. Just sort of, it, it keeps you on the, on the level, as it were. If your timing's going that uh, or that way, just by doing that little hammer on, you can sort of pull you back up. I think that's it it's so hard you know it's so hard some of this stuff just to slow it down you know but let's so maybe just doing that so that's so uh, if you want to you know if you learn the bass and you're inspired by lemmy and you want to pick up so just start starting slow it as in you know you got to crawl before you can walk and all that old stuff but just slow it right down then and then slowly pick up the pace. And then you can bring the two hands together and just doing that sort of the ryth rhythmic marker, you know, the reset as well. Etc. Uh, so that a lot of the single note stuff, that real, it was all the rhythms. I mean, I've, I've, on the video I did a E and D. How many riffs he did using those two notes? And he just changed the rhythm of the pick in hand. Uh, so that's just um, what we on now. Can't kind of wait minutes. So yeah, it was just to kind of look at Lemmy's picking pattern there, sort of focusing on it, and just how we can start off slow and building up because a lot of the time his hand was just a blur as it's going. And uh, you know, it's, it's yeah, just so underrated. And people saying, oh, it's one for each note with the free bass and stuff. Just no idea, really. <laughs> but anyway. All right, so it's just a little thing that's picking pattern there. So, yeah, maybe break it down. I don't know. I guess on these days, YouTube and stuff, you can actually isolate the bass and then half the playing or maybe more than that. Because even at half speed, it's still you know fast. And just just practice the stuff slow. That's so again, me machine. It's just such a good example. That's why I keep referencing it. I think I've ever seen. I've seen a couple of covers, and the bass they sort of go like, and he's he, he's actually he's locked in. So you've got that kind of speed going. So, but you can you can start and then mix it up. So if the uh, whatever your fretting hand is left or right. And build up. Okay, I think that's it for now. Anyway, cheers.